Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Rafael Rafael in Mi 90 Pro, also known as the Redmi K20 Pro. Now today we are talking about one of the very few, I think the only ROM which is stuck with Android version 10 and the version has been bumped to 8.7.3. Yes, this is Resurrection Remix and we are not talking about Android 10 firmware. The actual Android version on this particular ROM is Android 10. We have recently got the release of Android 12 and there would be a very strong reason why these guys are doing it but nonetheless they are giving constant updates to this particular ROM and recently 8.7.3 was released. So let's go ahead and have a look at this particular version and later maybe we will try a gaming review on this as well but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community we have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going Alright, so let's see over here. Resurrection Remix official Android 10 updated on 30th of September and it has bumped to 8.7.3 September security patch RR upstream. That's everything that they are mentioning over here. Now, before we actually get into the details, let's actually talk about what Resurrection Remix has been. Resurrection Remix over the years has been a custom ROM which has very good amount of customization. They focus on decent gaming experience and a lot of customization with stability. And the moment you boot into this ROM, you will see that it has very, very few applications which are to be considered as bloatware to the left you do have google feed which is running really really smooth on a 60 hertz display and over the top if you have a look at the quick tiles that is where the magic happens now remember i said that resurrection remix is known to be a great custom rom for customization and that is what it shows over here you have a ton of options over here just have a look smart charging cpu info gaming mode gesture anywhere configurations disable animations pulse ambient display caffeine on the go audio mode screenshot sync screen stabilization system updates so you know that's a ton of options when it comes to customization and basically resurrection remix has been the king for this all this while so as far as the system info is concerned this is the official 8.7.3 build with a september security patch and it does come with the perf kernel now when you actually look at the perf kernel you will notice that it will not give you the best performance but it gives you sort of a balance between performance and battery life and that is what resurrection remix is focused towards they want a lot of customization but they might not want the hardcore best hard turnout out performance like 81 hertz in siberia and stuff like that so let's you know go ahead and have a look at the customization options so the moment you go to settings over here you have resurrection tools in which you have status bar panel system interface lock screen animations and miscellaneous so one by one we'll quickly have a look at these customization menus you do have clock and date network traffic notification ticker battery battery bar logo system icons carrier label status bar weather status bar gestures and status bar tuner now in panels you have quick settings header recents and volume panel and on the system you have accent picker buttons navigation power dialog parts vibrations then you have interface in which you have fingerprint settings so that's something really interesting you have edge lighting heads up dashboard display size font size resurrection themes gaming so you do have a dedicated gaming mode over here and then you have miscellaneous under lock screen you have ambient options lock screen battery lock screen style lock screen items bottom sh shortcuts and transitions lock screen notifications and lock screen media and then you have all your animations here and you have miscellaneous wherein you can check for updates and all so you know that is something really really neat so all in all this rom does have a ton of customization and it does come with the perf kernel i've been using it since yesterday and i've not really had any issues this is based on the miui vendor so if you're going to flash this rom remember you have to flash the 12.0.3 firmware plus vendor because i tried 12.0.6 android 10 firmware and it did not work for me 
Now another reason why this particular ROM is special because ANX camera works just fine on this and this is a stable official update so I don't see a reason why there would be any major bugs and I have been using it since yesterday and I've not noticed any issues. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers before we actually end the video. So the CPU throttle test is something which is okay it's not that excellent like CPU throttle to 76% of its max performance and the average score was 159.626 GIPS so nothing impressive there very very like not so good score and if you talk about Geekbench real quick 737 single core and 2738 multi core so that's a decent score and if you talk about N22 benchmark over here 513,431 so not really really high but sort of the standard k20 pro now in the ui and all the other things i've not really had any issues it's smooth it works fine i've not tried gaming on this particular rom so a gaming review will be coming later let me know if you would install android 10 version rom when the world is moving towards android 12 until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye